It's good to be back for the next showcase though. I'm glad I didn't sleep in. I don't remember what was the last time I had an 8 hour sleep. <laughs> I don't even know if this year. <laughs> I feel like this year's showcase would be much more interesting simply because everything would release prior to the event <laughs> for some reason. Now it's kind of like we know what's gonna be like few kind of big names but it's not like everything is revealed like oh also <laughs> little cities was uh, scheduled to release tomorrow it's been delayed since 12th of may or something something like that so essentially three weeks from now general consensus i understood was that meta told them that they have to postpone it because something might release bigger than that that will overshadow it like it was just not the right time to do it i didn't really buy the opinion that it was because Cities VR will release next week. It's better to release earlier to me than to kind of like sell your idea and uh, if Cities VR will flop then Little Cities will be like be the better one. I don't know, it's, it's so weird, like last minute decision but something's going on. <laughs> I don't expect them to drop seven titles like with Quest 2 launch. I just hope Meta does not like, you know, falter the gaming showcase. To me this is the most important like event then connect. Here's the thing, I start to see looking just not only at my statistics on the channel but overall the reviews from the quest store, the activity in the VR community. Something's going on because there are not many people actively following that. Beginning of this year up until now was kind of rough. Is VR dead? I don't know. <laughs> it was so crazy to see from Christmas last year things going down suddenly like people lost their headsets I'm not the generation that you know saw the birth of oculus and just the hardware and just the community so I feel for people who were from the beginning it just feels like meta used quest honestly there like goals nowadays is not gaming. Even though we have a gaming showcase, it's not gaming. Like that's crazy to me. Of course, Meta is not a gaming company, and I realized that in the last year. I feel like uh, of making content, they seem to be, but they are not really. They are a social media company having a push for bringing people together. Fitness has some growth, good growth on it. It's never gonna be a gaming thing. So I'm looking forward to expanding kind of my channel when PSVR 2 will come. And I feel like it's mostly because I view PlayStation as a gaming company. And that's kind of like my future, my philosophy, my focus normally. Launched within next year, I, I hope 2022. Essentially roadmap for this year, next year. Guess it's better than nothing. Are we getting rough? Yes. Hi everyone, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners launched two years ago and millions of you have since carved a path through New Orleans in an effort to either save the city or to condemn it. Yes. Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 will be out later this year, so let's take an early look at your winter vacation. Yay, gameplay footage. I've heard it's correlated with Artichokes, which I didn't finish and I'm mad. <laughs> is this set up in Western? Like, is it New Orleans actually? Wait, it looks almost the same. Uh, almost, okay. Football game. My nemesis. Okay. It looks very nice. Get ready. <laughs> you know that it seems like a horror game. Because VR changes perspective. <laughs> it, it's so funny already. Like, I've never played Among Us, but... <laughs> My god. I mean, it's pure content machine, like... What do you think it's gonna be? I'm excited to announce that we're partnering with Shell Games to bring three more titles to MetaQuest over the next two years. That's a good put out, no? Now Vertical Robot is back with Red Matter 2. And they've really outdone themselves. Nice. I didn't finish the first one because my playthrough failed. I, I can't believe it worked. Sasha. Wow. I mean, the first one look, looked amazing. This should not be an exception. Tripwire Interactive and Digital Load are back with a sequel, Aspire 2. Wow. Your mission. What? I don't remember why I didn't like the first one. Was it buggy? I invited a special Do guest, I... a heroic sidekick, a personal friend of mine, to give you an update on her new adventure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's a bit nervous for her first interview. Oh my God. <laughs> so let's all give a warm welcome to Quill. Give me the date. Both Moss Book 2 will be coming to Quest 2 this summer. Exciting, right? Okay, I mean, we know that already. Quill brought some gameplay footage from Moss Book 2 to share with us. Let's take a look. From PSVR or Quest 2? <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be good to be back. Whoa! A longer dash to reach things. I mean, amazing. Moss was one of my first playthroughs ever. I love it. Like, 
something about the character and just interactions. It's like so personal. Okay, take a look at Ruins Magus coming to Quest 2. I mean, I know I'll be playing this. Ruins Magus! Amazing. Why do they so much like Sword Art? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of going on. Um, I'm not sure about the graphics. They downgraded a lot. <laughs> when Resident Evil 4 No! <laughs> I didn't finish the game, please! <laughs> I won't have time. No, don't spoil it for me, the characters. Oh my... <laughs> I think what my problem is that I have to finish the game first to unlock mercenaries. Now? No! <laughs> oh, Pendulum. Oh yeah. What the? That's so different. <laughs> uh, bone lab. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're smart. Keep an eye out on the store for updates. Oh my god, no dates today. I can't wait to play the new RE4 update and the Beat Saber tracks. <laughs> I'm also excited to share that this world that I'm standing in right now is going to be available for download today as a new home environment for Quest. Oh, that's nice. What, the Ghostbusters? Buster! Of course. Like, it's not been done to death. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Hmm. What's the <laughs> consensus? There has been some fun stuff. No Assassin's Creed. No Splinter Cell. No GTA. Like the list goes on. It's not like disappointment. Of course not, because at least we know what will be happening. I mean, we knew it already. The most exciting thing for me, Ruins Magus. This style of uh, games on Quest work so so well for me. I would do Bone Lab. It seemed more like a game rather than a simulator. It's still a sandbox, which it's hard for me, but I have to do the research if mercenaries I can actually play. I've heard you have to complete the game, which honestly would be very good for me because <laughs> I don't have to do it today. Really? Boneworks has a story? Huh. I didn't know that. Red Matter, yeah, I mean, I'm an adventure guy, so of course it's gonna be fun. So I don't get it, why they postponed Little Cities? Was it because of the mercenaries? That does not correlate at all with anything. I feel like at this point I'm just uh, waiting for the PlayStation to do something. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, as always. An interesting event, but for me it's just <laughs> more interesting to hang out with my people, honestly, <laughs> nowadays, so. See you in the mercenaries video, if it's available to me. <laughs>